Hello and welcome to Exploring the UK. I hope you like the somewhat scary intro. Now let's get into the history of the Zachary Mount Ward. The ward was opened in 1935 and it was built for patients that were recovering from operations or treatment from the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital. To get patients from the orthopaedic hospital to the ward, they used an old ambulance. When the last ambulance broke due to a rear axle, the Bloomsbury Health Authority refused to pay for it to be mended. Thus, the Zachary Murder Ward was forced to close. The Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital is still in use to this day, but the Zachary Murder Ward lays abandoned. There were plans for the ward to be refurbished as part of a programme to house families whose children are being treated at the hospital, but the hospital revealed in 2011 they planned to name the unit after Princess Eugene. The building has been left since the 1980s, which means it's in an awful state. The tiled roof has many holes over it, and urban explorers fear the first floor because of the wooden supports for sponge and rotten. However, whilst exploring the ground floor, a curiously glance upward reveals the first floor is built from concrete, so the upstairs is merely concrete with a floating wooden floor. Therefore, explorers will only sink a few inches when adventuring past the stairs on the top floor. Due to the roof leaking, rain has gotten for the past three decades. If you pick up or touch anything wooden inside this building, it will collapse instantly into powder. Anyways, that's enough history. Let's explore the spooky remains of the Zachary, Zachary Merton Ward at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital. Okay, so we've made it past two fences. They're pretty easy fences. And um, these are some of the old buildings. So the new hospital or the active hospital is just over there. And we've got all this abandoned bit for ourselves. This is coming from the main boiler room and I can tell this is the boiler room. It's because if you look here, if I move my camera up, you can see pipes running along. Or it's some sort of heat thing. What, under there? Yeah. Should we try it now? Sure. Jeez. I don't think these ones were. Well, one point. So we use best doors? Not sure. Try this shouldn't need mushrooms. Okay, so guys, what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna cut the video until we get into some above ground stuff. Okay, see you in a minute. It's still really cool how it's like architecturally made in it. Okay, so we made it in. So it's all now one way. And as I said in the beginning, if you hear a noise, see anything, nothing's staged. You should. This is some sort of kitchen. Well, yeah, it's more so a kitchen because of the kitchen because of the tiling. Oh, that's 
the rush of cold air as I enter this room. Don't worry, that's Tom. There's a fire bell. It's quite rare now. It's gone back to sort of brick tiling. Look at that old call point. That was me. This is like something you'll probably set up one of the Fallout games. Fallout 4. More trash than that. Yeah. You know there. A oh, nice fireplace. Love those big, thick sort of lights. No. Nice breeze coming through the. Yeah, it's nice that. Yeah. So nice trees as well. Mm -mm. Just want to say, guys. I didn't hear what you said. I've been doing an overnight challenge here. <laughs> right, so now we've explored this wing. I think this is a wing. It's these old light switches. If anything turned on, I'd buy a lottery ticket. It's no power. Right. Okay, I've just done my hyperlapse. So we're at the exact other end of the building <coughs> using that I'm gonna call it a hyper corridor. And um so uh, yeah, for my scary well at the time of filming this I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I want it sort of creepy. So that'll be used. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, you've already seen it, so you already know what I mean. I'm gonna stop talking now. I think this is made with this building, like, if you're playing Minecraft or something, you like your houses to line up with symmetry and like everything to be spot on, the right pillars in the same place and this is a different light switch box to the one over there, so this would have been an identical ward to the one down there and that's Tom, that light's Tom, just... Right, we're going to explore some of these because it's all symmetry, it's just... By the way, my GoPro battery's really low, so I don't know if my light is pointing at where it's supposed to, so if it's a bit off, I apologise, but I want to get as much building as done as possible. This is one of the outlets. It's an old... Um, so that one older computer. That bright flash was um I don't know what it was. It's pretty cool to see all this. It's like one massive time capsule. They're pretty cool. It looks 50, but I want to say 80. Look at this wall, you know, the tiles are just. Mirror. 
ist drin. So, so nur ist dann, nur ist mal. Ja, halt da. Salt stone steps. Jeez. Yeah, I don't like this. Is it all concrete with us? See, these were concrete, weren't they? They look like it to me. So this is just rotten wood over concrete? I think so. Right, fine. Mm, but I'd go downstairs and check. I think it is, I did check. Need to talk to this bit. <laughs> Single one for a toilet. That's the fire escape. That's Tom, don't worry. Well, what if it isn't? <laughs> oh, it's pretty dodgy here. Yeah, I don't like it. being in here on your own so massive massive respect for the bearded explorer because i'm scared and i've got two other people with me but going on your own when you have a torch and a camera so if something came out of you it's really hard to how is it on the floor i'm gonna walk on the main beams I 
I really do not like this floor here. It feels bad, but it is a No, no, I do not like it beyond this point. No, don't do that. You feel that? Oh, so, 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 the old fire arms. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, there's no point. It does freak you out those floors, doesn't it? Look at that. Come on. That's pretty cool. Just get a hyperlapse of that. So I've just gone down there. It's got very dark all of a sudden. So thank you for watching this video. I think we've done both wards of the hospital and we've just done a little bit of upstairs, but it's very scary. It's like the glass bridge in Squid Game. You don't know if you're going to step and fall. You don't know if you're going to step and be, well, still on the first floor, second floor. Um, yeah, upstairs is really decrepit up here but nature. Nature's beautiful, and this is pretty beautiful. Right, where would you get other than these patterns here? Like, pretty cool. Make sure to leave a comment if you do see anything scary. Um, without that, thank you for watching, and... I can't see a way up to the, um, oh, the clock tower. We're not going up there. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not pressing the button on the back. That's not me pressing the button on the back. If I put the torch down, that, that was not me. You have to hold it down for it to flash.